beside our bridge rig that we call it and this is really a suspension system to mimic the stiffness of a real bridge and the way that we mimic that stiffness is with these springs here so they support the vertical motion of the bridge and we also have these springs here going horizontally that mimic the torsional behavior of the bridge and so by changing out those springs and adjusting them we can match the stiffness of a real life bridge or a full scale structure. Now what we're doing here is we're allowing the bridge to move freely. We want the wind and structure interaction to happen as it would in real life. And so we support these on springs and we allow the motion on these uh, air bearings so that, that there's very little damping in the system and we can actually control that damping through adding and removing magnets. What we're measuring in this case are two different things. We have a shaft here in the middle that supports the model on both sides and that measures the forces and torques acting on the model or the bridge and we have these laser displacement transducers at the top that measure how the bridge reacts to the motions in the wind. And so what we're able to do is subject this bridge to a number of different wind speeds and see if we see motion that would be something we're trying to avoid on the real structure. Now when we go through these speeds, what we're trying to do at each speed is to get the bridge to move a little bit. And the way that we do that is with these actuators here, and they come up and they'll give the bridge a little bit of an egg sight. And the reason we do that is that the natural wind is, is turbulent and gusty, and that may cause a little bit of motion on the bridge, especially at high wind speeds. And there are some aerodynamic instabilities that require some motion to get them going. And so we want to make sure we're mimicking those gusty effects in our wind tunnel. And so at every wind speed, we excite the model and we see, does the motion grow or does the motion decay? And what we're all hoping for is to see that motion decay over all the wind speeds that a bridge would ever see. Another feature of our bridge rig here is that it's set up currently for a single bridge but there's an increasing amount of parallel or twin bridges that are being built. And so what we've been able to do is make a modular design. So this whole rectangle in the middle here, we have another one of those, and we can actually put two side by side to model two bridges dynamically at the same time. So this helps us both to understand the interaction of those two bridges, which we've seen is very important, and it also allows us to be efficient by testing both at the same time.